What time is it? It's eight o'clock. So if you're new to my page, welcome. My name is Sarah, and I'm the artist behind the art account It's Art O'Clock on Instagram, and this is my new YouTube. So I like to play with mediums in a way that maybe you don't usually use them. So I'm using watercolor with this. I'm using watercolor tubes by Art Philosophy and I'm using gouache. And anyone who knows what gouache is knows it's basically like if watercolor and acrylic had a baby. So you're gonna get like a lot more textures. And that's why I felt the need to do this today using a spatula. And I don't normally paint with a spatula. If you've been on my page before, you'll know that this is not a normal move for me. Uh, but like I said, I like to try new things and test things out in ways that maybe aren't normally the way to go. I wouldn't usually think to use a spatula with watercolour, um, but I like to see what can be done. So I also don't normally do monochrome, but I decided to go with all my blues today and added a bit of white. Um, you actually don't see the white on the camera, uh, but it's a white gouache, so it is going to stick a little thicker. Um, and now obviously acrylic will always work better for giving peaks and you know keeping that texture shape um, but I haven't used acrylics in years and so I use what I have to hand and I like to play and have fun and this is where it led me. So I also wanted to showcase how my brain works and it often goes in really unusual directions but it also sometimes just doesn't work like the ideas don't work but I wanted to show you all of it so I started by adding water to the sky thinking I might want it to be like a bleed line with the watercolor um, very subtle but it starts to touch and it doesn't do what I wanted it to do. The um, watercolor that I put down, the blue, is too wet and so when it bleeds across it just didn't work how I wanted it to. So next thing I tried to sort of rectify it because I like the mountainscapes that I created, I thought you know let's go in with maybe some metallics so I started adding some silver ink, uh, metallic ink and then didn't like that look either and that's kind of the point of me showcasing this is it doesn't have to work every time and you might do the whole piece get to the sky and ruin it and that's okay too that's how you learn like I'm a big believer in making mistakes as a part of learning and um, you know you won't know if something will look good until you try it so I know it can be frustrating if you like you know ruin a piece and there are times when I was doing this that I really felt like I sort of screwed it up and would need to start again however you'll see I keep going <laughs> and the next thing I thought was "Ooh, what if I try and do that kind of like um, aurora borealis look just squiggling on some paint and then pulling it down when I tried it didn't really work tried uh, my liquid watercolors by art philosophy that didn't work and then I just decided let's just make it more abstract like lots of lines and marks and coloring and splatters and <laughs> kind of all of the above and I kind of love where it ended up um, I just think that the best thing you can do when it comes to art is play and it's pretty much what I did today I just played with paint and uh, yeah I hope you like it 